Critics may dismiss her as a one-man band, but Dr. Mampella Rampelli is a figure to watch. Famed for her role in the struggle against apartheid, she's launching a party to challenge the governing ANC, which she believes is out of step with voters' demands. If South Africa doesn't own the future and stop focusing on the past, it will become a very sad place, a country with enormous potential, with our natural resources, our mineral resources, our human resources, and yet underperforming our potential. As you can see with these beautiful buildings, they demonstrate the inequality that exists in South Africa. Sibyl Sisu is part of an urban post-apartheid generation. The group Dr. Rampelli's party seeks to target, but she's unlikely to get his vote for one simple reason. Her party doesn't have experience in terms of governance, and also people have lost interest in terms of voting. Why? Because political parties no longer deliver services to them. The new party's promise to grow the economy and create more jobs may hold much appeal for South Africans, but many want the ANC to deliver this. Loyalty for the party that brought liberation still runs deep. Yet here in the Eastern Cape, there may still be votes. These are the neighborhoods where 40 years ago, Dr. Rampelli fought for black people to get the vote. Today, there are fresh challenges. Corruption is taking its toll on a new generation. Education just doesn't seem to matter. If it was taken as a priority, we'd be having science lab, we'd be having libraries here. We don't even have a library. And some of the classrooms barely have floors, not the best conditions for a decent education. It's an issue that the new party says will be a top priority. Dr. Rampele may not be as light on her feet as South Africa's president, but her party has pledged to stamp out corruption and hold leaders to account. Two reasons why some disillusioned voters might just give her a chance. Karen Allen, BBC News, South Africa.